Before we get started, I'd like to give you some background on this procedure. A few years ago, I was at a chiropractic pediatric seminar, and the instructor said, there's a center of the brain for posture. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. And I raised my hand and I asked, where's the center of the brain for posture located? And he said, I'm not really sure. I'll have to look at it in my notes when I go home, and I'll tell you tomorrow. And I thought, to heck with you. I want to know where it is right now. So I went to the person sitting next to me, and we muscle tested, asked innate, where's the center of the brain for posture? And locate it. It's right over here on the frontal bone. And then we figured out an adjustment for it. And all of a sudden, after the adjustment, I was standing up real straight. I had better curves in my spine. I thought, wow, this is pretty exciting stuff. And then we thought, well, why not test for the center of the brain for addiction to smoking and for antibiotic and antiviral and on and on. Now we have over 100 different centers of the brain. Later, I was at another seminar. And I ran into someone who had brain cancer. And as we were talking, all of a sudden, he started to go into a seizure. So quickly, I muscle tested him, found out where the center of the brain was for his seizure, muscle tested him, touched the point, stimulated T2, 4, and 6 while he was holding the point, and the seizure just stopped just like that. Boy, was that exciting to watch. Amazing. Just amazing to watch it. Spinal encephalo technique is extremely valuable and very useful for your patients that have just been in a car accident or any other kind of trauma, for post-operative patients, for children and the elderly who don't like much trauma to their spine during adjusting. It also improves body function and can improve your mood as well. The spinal encephalo technique requires that you locate various specific reflex points in the patient's skull. Now I'd like to take you on an anatomical tour of the skull. In the front of the skull, we have the frontal bone. Up the center of the frontal bone is the metopic suture. Points that we'll be going over in the treatment are mastoid 1, 2, and 3. This is the mastoid process of the temporal bone. This is mastoid 1 mastoid 2, and mastoid 3. Applied kinesiology, or muscle testing, is a technique I've found to be useful in testing the SET reflex points to see if they need adjusting. I'd like to demonstrate the proper use of muscle testing so that you can do this technique accurately. Just hold the patient's arm up. Now we're going to go over step by step how to do spinal encephalo technique. First, you test the patient's arm. Hold. Now it's, we have established that it's a strong arm. Then we locate a point on the skull and test it again. Hold. Then take the patient's finger and place it right on that point. Make sure that they don't put it on, but you put it on yourself. Now I'm going to demonstrate the first category of spinal encephalo technique, structural. I'm going to check him, see what structural imbalances she has. Jut your neck forward, and turn all the way to the right. Hold. Now we'll test that here. Hold. There's a subluxation between occiput and atlas on the right side. The first adjustment we'll do is for upper cervical. Find the EOP. Go one inch up and a half inch to the right. Hold. I'm going to place your finger right here. We're going to just let's check the TMJ. Open your jaw wide. Clench your teeth tight. Resist. Now bring your lower jaw to the right. Like that. Resist. So the internal pterygoid's involved. And bring it back to center. Resist. We have an involvement in the masseter. Resist. And in the temporalis as well. So now we're going to locate this point, squamosal 3 right there, and it's on the squamosal suture, just in front of the ear. Hold, touch this point right here. And we'll just... Now we'll be testing the different cranial bones of the skull. The first thing to test is the psoas muscle. See if it's strong. I'm going to push down and out. Turn your leg out. Resist, nice and strong. And then the other side. 
try the mastoid here. And resist, nice and strong. Try the temporal squama. And resist. And the frontal bone. Resist, it's strong. The parietal bone. Resist, and let's do the occipital bone now. Place your hands under there, right there. And resist, that's strong. And the maxilla. Resist, and that's strong. So we had several bones that showed up out of balance on the right side. And we also have to check the palatine bone. So open your mouth wide. Let's have you touch right on the top roof of your mouth. I'm going to push down and out, resist, and the palatine bone shows up as well. Let's have you sit up now. And there's two points for the cranial adjusting. One of them is mastoid one. This is mastoid three, right at the bottom of the mastoid bone. Three, two, one. And the other point is just medial to mastoid three for the palatine bone. So first we'll do the adjust the mastoid one point, hold. And it's usually on the side of involvement, cranial involvement. So we found cranial bones out on the right. Back again, we're going to retest those cranial bones. So again, we'll test the psoas and the clear. Turn your leg out, resist. Place both hands on your mastoid process right here. I'm going to push down and out. Hold your leg up, resist. Nice and strong. Then we'll try the temporal squama. And turn your leg out. I'm going to push down and out, resist. And we'll check the frontal bone. Turn your leg out, resist. The parietal bone. And resist the maxilla. And turn your leg out and resist. Now open your mouth wide, OK, and touch the roof of your mouth on the palatine bone. I'm going to push down and out and resist. And they're all fixed. All the cranial bones are back in proper alignment. Now I'm going to demonstrate the valve of Houston adjustment, which is the same as the ileocecal valve adjustment, only it's on the left side. Hold your arm up, hold, hold. Okay, and the point is right at, on the occiput along the transverse arch, right in the center here. So if, if this was the occiput, it would be right at that point right there. So touch right here. Turn your wrist up here, and I'm going to just touch these acupuncture points here. I'm going to put, breathe out. Good. Hold your arm up and hold. Good. And turn your wrist up, hold, and it also balances the acupuncture pulse. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep your hand there, hold your arm up, hold. Now let's try this point again, and hold, nice and strong. That balanced it. Now, this point I was very curious about, so I went to an acupuncturist. He, he tested my pulse, and he said that I had a low heart pulse. And then we did the adjustment, and he tested it again, and he was amazed that everything was in balance after that. And I was pretty amazed, too. It's a wake-up center of the brain. This one needs to be stimulated by everyone first thing in the morning. It's quarter-inch lateral to the metopic suture. This is the metopic suture at the hairline on the right. Hold. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Keep your hand there. Hold your arm up and hold. Good. Okay. How's that? That's good. I do feel more awake. All right. Great. Wonderful.